Shalom, shalom, Mishpaka Yisrael. All praises to the power of Avraham, Yishak, and Yaakov. Welcome to the Nekeva Gang Encouragement for today, where we share the articles written on our website in hopes that you will be inspired and encouraged in your walk and obedience to Torah. You can visit our website at www.thenekevagangblog.wordpress.com or join us on Pal Talk in the Nekeva Gang Room every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Today's article of encouragement is called A Work in Progress. We pray that this article inspires your mind and heart to continue striving in your walk and your relationship with the power of Yisrael. A work in progress. Like everyone, I am far from perfect. I make mistakes, miss deadlines, and many times confuse perfection with progress. What I mean is that I find myself striving for perfection And when I feel like I've failed, I take the progress that I have made for granted by overlooking the improvement that I have gained. Many times I just forget that imperfections are a part of life. Does this ever happen to you? (laughs) Well, we all are famous for using the old saying, I am a work in progress. Hmm, a work in progress. What does that mean? Is it your excuse for not meeting your commitments or striving to do better? Or is it a confession that says, Hey, I know I'm not where I'm supposed to be, but I am so much better than I used to be. Personally, I think none of us ever stop being a work in progress. And for the record, I prefer the last explanation of a work in progress. I want to encourage you not to focus on your imperfections today, but instead think about how the Most Highest of Abraham, Yishak, and Yaakov has led you on a path that has elevated you, a path that has given you more knowledge about yourself and the people around you, a path that has drawn you closer to Him one that has allowed you to see yourself in a better light so that you can walk in your purpose, all to be fulfilled at your pace, but in his time. Be patient and allow yourself to grow, but make it a point to recognize, appreciate, and be thankful for that growth. Be thankful for all the internal assets that he is placing in you. Mishle Proverbs 32 8 says, I will educate and enlighten you in which path to go. I will advise you with my eye. We can always find a reason to complain about why we are not where we want to be, but it takes a woman with much insight to reflect and just be thankful for where she is. This encourages her to keep going and to keep seeking the counsel of the Most Highest. All praises to the Most Highest of our forefathers and abundant blessings to the true children of Yisrael. Shalom and Ahava, the Nakeva Gang, Talmida Kana. Thank you so much for listening, and we pray that you have been encouraged. We close out in saying, May the one who has given us life, the most highest of all the powers, the creator of heaven and earth, be glorified, and let his name be glorified as well. <laughs>